Right, since it's a nice day, I'm going to turn my attention from the white one over to the blue one and we're going to do something on the Range Rover for a change. Um, I know people watching may have just been looking at the BMW stuff, but prior to the BMW I had uh, a lot of jobs to do on this TDV8 uh, Range Rover. And since it's nice and it's been sat here being a good boy, uh, I'm going to treat it to an EGR uh, delete. So this is something I wasn't sure about doing before, but I've just decided um, that there's nothing wrong with my EGRs, but I'm going to blank them off. Consensus seems to be on forums that it doesn't cause an engine management like that. Everyone seems to be convinced it will. Um, so I'm just going to blank them off and we'll soon see. You can always put them back again, can't I? So I've got a little blanking kit. You'll just see here. You get two aluminium blanks and two steel blanks there. And basically the EGR setup um, on the diesel TDV8 is obviously you've got, you know, a V setup, an EGR on each bank, and all the blanking kit is to take out the uh, sort of 90 degree bit of pipe that joins the EGR valve to the inlet manifold, and then you blank off each side. So that's why there's four blanks uh, two steel ones for the actual EGRs, and then the aluminium ones with the seals that go on the uh, ABS plastic, you know, um, inlet manifold. That's what we're going to do. First thing is, uh, I'm going to put the bonnet in service position because there isn't really enough room to get in there um, and, and get in and get to all the bits. So, if, in case you haven't seen how to do that, I'll show you that now. So most cars will have a service position. Um, my Mercedes cars that I've had before have been far easier. There's just a red button on the gas strut that you press and then you can force the bonnet right up almost 90 degrees. The Range Rover has a similar, but not quite as easy process involving the gas strut. So I've already just done this now. You need to just go and loosen this little uh, metal retaining clip on the bottom of the gas strut. We need to do it on both sides. And we're gonna pull that gas strut off its mount just there and it's going to allow the bonnet once we've done the other side to be pushed back further right up and then you can see this little uh, bit of metal here that is going to be pushed back and that hole that you see there is going to locate onto there and it's going to hold the bonnet up in a real high position so i'll show you that now one there's two bonnet is safely held up in its uh, upright position now and uh, you can see what I mean that little metal <laughs> you can see where it's been from the clean bit here it just gets pushed back till it locates on that little lug and the same on the other side, and now we've got pretty much a vertical access to be able to get in. This is the kind of thing you need to do if you ever change your battery. Uh, now we need to get in here really, so we're going to be taking the engine cover off and uh, perhaps pulling the uh, cabin filter out and stuff like that. It shouldn't take, shouldn't be a big job really. So I'm just approaching this as I'm filming it really. The engine cover just unclips and comes out. Pipe that out of the way from it. And if we just have a very quick look, we can even see where we want to be getting to. That is one of the EGR pipes there. And that's one of the places we're going to blank. And there's the other one we're going to blank as well. So we need to move a lot of this stuff out of the way to be able to get to it. Now I believe this part uh, will come out with a bolt there and a bolt there to give us a bit more access to get into the back of the engine. Uh, just to give a bit more space really. That's what we want to do because we need to get down into there just where the actual EGR valve is that we can't quite see to blank it off. So with the bolt removed here and the bolt removed here, just pull this little bit of uh, sealant off there. Uh, I think, yeah, this whole filter unit should just pull out, but uh, I've never done this before, so let's see how easy or not it is. It's coming. Now we're going to release the two bolts holding 
these two pipes down. And there's another one over here, so it's on this bracket, I think, here. So it's three bolts to undo. And then we're going to lift them up and out the way and cable tie them to the uh, to the wiper arm, I believe. That's what the instructions tell us anyway. So uh, we'll see what we can do there. Okay, so over on this side now, if you can see, I've used my screwdriver to prop up the support bracket. It's a very messy looking engine. It always has been the TDBA, but anyway, if I try and pull some bits back, can you see where that, you see a Torx bolt there and there on the end? You can actually get straight onto those. Uh, it's just awkward to film, that's all. So that's the one end, and obviously the other end is, uh, is right here. Um, so easy enough to get to those now. We can do this one side, get the blanking plates on, and uh, I'll see if I can film a little bit of that from over on a tripod. Da, 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 da. There we go. There we go, the bolts are still set. So there it is, removed. I don't know if you want to have a look, that's the actual EGR outlet and that's the inlet a little bit shady uh, yeah a little bit carboned up like we'd expect but we're gonna block that little bugger up now so uh, do the same on the other side okay now the kit comes with new bolts and this is the aluminium blank that goes onto the uh, the plastic inlet on your manifold there and then down the bottom I don't know if you can quite see there is um, where the steel blank goes. So um, you need to make sure your rubber uh, rubber seal is on there. And he should locate very nicely. It's all the same size as the old one. There we go, to work him nicely into position. There we go. Just gotta put the new bolts in. New bolts are a slightly different length to the ones that come off. There we go. Now we need to block up the actual EGR. And for that, we use these steel blanks. Okay, so off our old EGR elbow, uh, which is the, the bit we just removed, the end that was connected to the EGR, which is here, we need to take this little metal gasket back off and we're gonna reuse it on our blanking plate. So we're gonna put that straight on, locate the bolts in the bolt holes, and we're just gonna drop it straight on and tighten it up. Just as a side point here, of all the cars I've owned, this has gotta be the best £1.99 I ever spent buying a telescopic magnet um, to fish both bolts, nuts, and sockets that you drop into the engine. But we can also use it in this instance to lower our uh, a little EGR blank in place, so there we go. I'm gonna drop him nicely into place. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna do those finger tight, and then we finish it off and move on to the other side, and it's pretty much the same job-ish, mirror image. Okay, with everything just uh, bolted down, put back in place, uh, I've just pushed all the connectors back together, pushed them back in their holes, bolted down that uh, supporting cross member that goes there, 
Uh, it's time to now undo the daisy chain. Put these uh, two pipes back down, put the pollen filter assembly back in, cover back on and see if it starts up with no engine management lights. Hmm. There we go, that's uh, the uh, cabin filter assembly put back. That's not difficult, but a bit awkward if I'm being honest, uh, you know, a few tall gloves. So yeah, just now we're gonna put the engine cover back on and uh, start it up and uh, hope they've plugged all the bits back in. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. It is damn hot today, so everything's put back together. Let's hope I've done it right. Uh, let's start it up and see what's what. Uh, right, I'm not gonna shut the door because it's hot, but it's on the lowest suspension setting, so it might bong at me that uh, the door's open and I can't change height, blah, blah, blah. Seems fine. Obviously, I've only just started it off. Once I drive it, I'll know, but uh, that's the job, pretty much. Let's uh, put the car back to proper height. Normal drive height. Here we go, going up. There we go. Sounds great. Job done. <laughs> 